Hi, welcome to Sean's Kitchen. For today's recipe, here we will take a pan and add one tablespoon of butter. And to this, we are going to add one inch cinnamon stick, three cloves, and five green cardamoms. Along with these dry spices, here we will also add one medium sized onion. And after adding the onion, here we will fry it for a period of 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, here we will add half a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And after adding the ginger garlic paste, we will fry it until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes away. After about a minute, here we will add 3 medium sized tomatoes to the dish. And along with the tomatoes, here we will also add about 15 cashew nuts. After adding the tomatoes and the cashew nuts, we will give this a good mix. After mixing this, here we can then add 1 cup of water to the dish. And after adding the water, here we will cover it with a lid and let it cook for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, here we will remove the lid. Now after removing the lid, we will now switch off the flame and keep this aside to cool down. Once this is cooled down, we will then transfer this to a grinder jar and grind this into a smooth paste. After grinding the ingredients into a smooth paste, here in the very same pan we will add 2 tablespoons of butter. And to this butter, here we will add the ground paste. And to this ground paste, here we will add 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, and the salt as per taste. After adding all of these ingredients, we will now mix this well and let this cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, here you can then add water as per the consistency of the gravy you require. Your I have added about 1 fourth cup of water. I am now going to give this a good mix and let this cook for another 1 minute. After 1 minute, here we will add 200 grams of onion. And along with the paneer, here we will also add 1 fourth cup of cream. After adding the paneer and the cream, here we will mix it well and let this cook for another 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, here we will add 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi to the dish. And after that, your dish is ready to be served. So if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.